Good morning, friends. This is Bishop John Quinn of the Diocese of Winona, and I welcome you to this televised liturgy. Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh, the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion grant us we pray so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Remember how for 40 years now the Lord your God has directed all your journeying in the desert so as to test you by affliction and find out whether or not it was your intention to keep his commandments. He therefore let you be afflicted with hunger and then fed you with manna a food unknown to you and your fathers, in order to show you 
that not by bread alone does one live, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of the Lord. Do not forget the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that place of slavery, who guided you through the vast and terrible desert with its seraph serpents and scorpions, its parched and waterless ground, who brought forth water for you from the flinty rock and fed you in the desert with manna, a food unknown to your fathers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise, Praise the, Lord, the Lord, Jerusalem. Jerusalem. He has granted peace in your borders. With the best of wheat he fills you. He sends forth his command to the earth, swiftly runs his word. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the cup of blessing that we bless is not a participation in the is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because the loaf of bread is one, we, though many, are one body, for we all partake of the one loaf. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lo, the angel's food is given to the pilgrim who has striven. See the children's bread from heaven, which on dogs may not be spent. Truth, the ancient types fulfilling, Isaac bound a victim willing. Paschal lamb, its lifeblood spilling, manna to the Father's scent. Very bread, good shepherd, tend us. Jesu, of your love, befriend us. You refresh us, you defend us. Your eternal goodness send us in the land of life to see. You who all things can and know, who on earth such food bestow, grant us with your saints, though lowest, where the heavenly feast you show fellow heirs and guests to be. Amen. Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And with Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Jewish crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Remember, Moses tells the people in today's first reading, for the Jewish people, remembrance was an important part of their ongoing relationship with their God. 
They remembered all sorts of things. And in those memories, they once again were touched by God and touched those events of their history that were so formative of their lives. So they remembered the good things that the Lord had done for them, and they gave thanks. They remembered those times that they were unfaithful to the covenant, and they repented. They remembered the promises that God had made to them, and they waited in hope. So when at the Last Supper Jesus says to his disciples, do this in memory of me, he was drawing on this long history of his people that encountered God in memory. But these were not simply the kind of memories that we might have of a wonderful summer day in our childhood or some lovely gift that someone gave us along the way. This kind of remembering is a kind of remembering that brings us into contact with that which is remembered. And in fact, brings that which is remembered into the present. So when the Jews gather for their Passover supper, they are not just thinking about something that happened thousands of years ago, but they enter into that event. With their ancestors, they cross over. And so when Jesus says, do this in memory of me, that's the kind of memory he's inviting us into. He's telling us that when we remember, when we do these things in memory of him, he touches us, he comes to us, he feeds us. And so we too, like the Jewish people, are a people who remember. We remember the many meals that Jesus shared with his disciples and those who are on the fringes of society. We remember that the words that Jesus proclaimed at the Last Supper as he established the Eucharist. We remember the sacrifice of Jesus by which he saved us. We remember that Jesus is present to us in the bread and wine that have become his body and blood. This week I celebrate the 32nd anniversary of my ordination to the priesthood. And so of course it's a time that I'm remembering many things. One of the things that I always remember at this time of year is the wonderful gift of my chalice that I use each time I celebrate Mass and was given to me by a family friend. When I had the chalice crafted on the bottom, I had engraved the words that I heard at my ordination. Imitate the mystery you celebrate. That's really what the priest is about. And it's really what our Christian life is about that we imitate the mystery that together we celebrate. St. Augustine said it just a little bit differently. Be what you see, receive what you are. And why is that important for us? It's a reminder to us that in Jesus, we have life. In Jesus, we have the gift of reconciliation. In Jesus, we have the hope of eternal life. In the opening words of his encyclical on the Eucharist, St. John Paul II reminds us that the church draws her life from the Eucharist. He's echoing those words that Jesus said in today's gospel, that he comes to us in his very body and blood to feed us and bring us life. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. 
He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Confident that Jesus indeed is with us and cares for us, we place our needs before the Lord. For God's holy people, nourished by this holy Eucharist, as we go into the world to share the good news of God's love for all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in our community who are unable to attend us at this celebration, to join us at this celebration, and for the ministers of communion who go to them with our prayers and the Eucharist from this table, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For farmers, vine growers, bakers, winemakers, and all whose toil allows us to share in this banquet, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Give faith to the doubter and hope to those who live in despair. Grant the needs of all those here present for whom we now pause to pray. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant eternal light, happiness, and peace to all of our departed loved ones. May they reign forever in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious and loving God, we place these prayers before you with confidence. We ask that once again you would hear and answer them. For we ask that through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant your church, O Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are to be seen in mystery in the offerings we here present, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the Last Supper with his apostles, Establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise. Nourishing your faithful by this sacred mystery, you make them holy so that the human race, bounded by one world, may be enlightened by one faith, and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament, so that, bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end we acclaim.
are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Grant, O Lord, we pray that we may delight for all eternity in that share in your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age by a reception of your precious body and blood, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Good morning. This is Bishop John Quinn of the Diocese of Winona. Thank you for joining us for this Sunday's televised Mass. I hope it has brought you spiritual joy and comfort this day. Our broadcast cannot continue without your support. Please consider sending a donation to TV Mass at Post Office Box 588, Winona, Minnesota 55987.